And that's it for us today as I say goodbye for this last time as moderator of Face the Nation. I now that our Sunday morning colleague has moved on, so we'll be hearing a new name on Face the Nation. I'm John Dickerson, and today on Face the Nation, House a name John with a history Kane. of its own. Do you think that we, the American people, can rest easy about the state of our defenses? John Dickerson's mother, Nancy, was the first female correspondent to report for CBS News, an organization that, until 1960, was all male. This is Nancy Honchman in Arlington, Virginia, at the home of Colonel John Glenn. Born Nancy Honchman just outside Milwaukee, she tried her hand at teaching before moving to Washington to work on Capitol Hill. Soon she'd turn her attention to the press, not politics as a career. Despite having no experience, the aspiring journalist landed a job at CBS, first as a radio producer. Face the Nation. Then as associate producer for, well, Face, Face the, the Nation, Nation, when it debuted in 1954. By 1960, the young reporter had earned a shot on the radio. This is Dimension from London. Nancy Honchman with a look at And the then on camera. Would you uh, repeat for our television cameras what you uh, have just said outside? Yes, Miss Hanchman. Uh, well, Assigned to cover the presidential campaign, the a rising star among her idols, including Edward R. Murrow and Don Hewitt, Nancy Dickerson, as she was now known after marrying businessman C. Wyatt Dickerson, had a front row seat for President Kennedy's inaugural. Congratulations, Mr. Senator. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you very much. Congratulations. <laughs> and his presidency, growing close to both First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy and Lady Bird Johnson. On that dark day in November 1963, Dickerson, having just left CBS for NBC, managed to keep calm as President Kennedy's body returned home from Dallas. Behind the casket is Mrs. Jacqueline Kennedy. After President Lyndon Johnson took office, Nancy Dickerson had a direct line to the White House. Nancy Dickerson's on 9-2, asking for two minutes of your time. How are you doing, honey? Fine, thank you. In fact, she had the ear of many powerful folks in Washington, often hosting glamorous social gatherings at the family estate, Marywood, in nearby Virginia, where John grew up. Still, it wasn't all smiles. Mother and son battled through some tumultuous teenage years. Nancy Dickerson died in 1997 after suffering a stroke, just as John was making his own name as a political journalist in Washington with Time magazine. The bottom line is Florida and Michigan don't look like there's, there's not going to be a do-over there. Today on Face the Nation, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, Admiral Mike Mullen. A familiar presence on Face the Nation for the past seven years, John Dickerson now takes over for one pioneer at CBS News. Thank you all for uh, presiding over my last panel here. It's been a lot of fun. John, you're going to love this job. <laughs> While another keeps a close eye on him. And here's the man now. John Dickerson joins us in Washington for a look at what's ahead on Face the Nation. Good morning and good luck, John. What's coming up? Thank, thank you, Jane. We'll have New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, New York Mayor Bill de Blasio, Michael McCall, he's the chairman of the House Homeland Security Committee, and we'll also talk to Governor Rick Perry of Texas. John Dickerson in Washington. Thank you.